Hello there everyone, and welcome back to Napoleon Total War with the Great War mod. We're playing as Serbia in World War One. Last time around, we fought over Belgrade. We were defending against an onslaught, a combined onslaught of Turkish and Greek soldiers. Probably the only time in history you'll see that. Um, we beat them. As we can see here, there's some remnants of the Turkish force. The Greeks... Nowhere to be found. Or we'll probably skedaddle into the forest here again. Uh, working their way around, trying to burn my... Burn my college at Sarajevo. Possibly the factory down here. Not entirely sure. Or possibly what they should be doing is retreating back to Greece. Because at this point, my commander, Putnik, has moved all the way from his attack over here down and is now laying siege to Athens. Now off camera I did play a small battle over here or I didn't... it wasn't a battle it was actually an ambush but they ambushed me with only a single unit and then rest of their troops came in as reinforcements a pretty useless battle. Also it was such a small engagement that I thought it probably better just to jump this one and then go over to attack the actual capital. Now this will open up for us a port closer to what I want, which is the oil over here. And I should be able to recruit, start recruiting ships because we do have quite a bit of money from just the coal we are, we are uh, buying right now. So I'll be able to buy a navy, send it around, Clear out the Ottoman Navy. Now, the Ottomans have built this um, Naval Academy, which I believe uh, there's a bug where you can't actually recruit any ships out of it. But it does allow naval troops to be recruited. Um, so, they won't be able to replenish and build up a new fleet once we sink the one they have. So, that'll be good. So, we clear out the Ottomans and then I'll be able to go get the oil... Then we'll try to, at the same time as this, as we clear out the Ottoman Navy, we will start Operation uh, Cuck the Turks. Because uh, we ran into a problem where I couldn't actually take over the territory because it crashed. Not entirely sure why. Um, but yeah, it, some, somehow it crashed. I think it's linked with the fixed alliances somehow. Um, we've had problems with other campaigns before taking over the Ottomans. But w what we're going to do is we're going to try and burn the country down till they're nothing. So they can't really do anything. Then just kind of leave a guarding force there to make sure they don't pop up again. Uh, hopefully, um, you know, sometimes the algorithm in games and, you know... Bibbly boobly goes around, fl flutters around, and maybe I will be able to take it over at some point, but who knows? Um, so it's going, it's been going really well for Putnik. Um, he hasn't been able to replenish his troops, but he should be able to take this. He's got a lot of artillery. Also, note that the French force that they landed last episode, or I saw them, I think, last episode, uh, is gone. I think what happened was that the Greek force that was uh, guarding the town uh, kind of collided with them and they fought it out and this, there will probably another Greek full stack down here but that's kind of melted away and what we're left with is this which the town is mostly actually guarded by home guards. If we go north though we still have these they're locked in place However, it seems like the Ottomans have switched focus now because we've got Mustafa Kemal Ataturk moving in to attack Romania. Now, if they had done that earlier, they would have come in a period where there was a high amount of rebel activity. And also, I had very, very few troops. But since then, we acquired coal. And we have now bolstered the defense. We've got cannon, we've got cavalry, we've got lots of infantry. So Ataturk should have quite the, uh, the difficult time in uh, dislodging us from Bucharest. This I will push out as soon as this force uh, recoups. And I'll possibly... Ah oh, yes, I should say here, 
we should go ahead and start re uh, recruiting the entire army in like um, new cannons and stuff like that because I have been able to get the trench doctrine warfare right now so we've got the new troops the um, trench era troops so we've got French uh, helmets for all the troops we've got some new units as well the iron regiment elite battalion we've got infantry light infantry foreign volunteers and reservists also we've got some new cannons railway gun uh, heavy mortars light mortars a new field gun compared to the old one and then rifle cavalry and a few other stuff the Austrians are moving once again down towards Zagreb this time around you can see they're sending the new units for this version I'm playing um, where the Hungarians have Royal Austrian infantry but they also have these Hungarian infantry so they're split into two different ones and then they also have the Imperial, just the normal Imperial. Um, and if they actually had this region, they would be able to have the Bosnian Herzegovinian troops as well. Thing though is, I'm hoping that they will divert their attack because the Italians are making quite the push. We've got three full stacks moving straight towards the capital. So the Austrians should hopefully move back to defend Vienna rather than go after us. Other risk the Italians taking over Vienna. Now with the Italians taking over Vienna there is a risk. As we know basically every single country that is an allied with me has declared war on me except for Portugal, Switzerland and Italy. All other nations are at war with me. And I'm suspecting once I actually get a land border with Italy that they will go ahead and declare war on me. I will see if I can get an alliance with them, but that will only like I think extend peacetime by one or two turns. And I'm not entirely sure if it's worth it paying a lot of gold, giving them technologies and stuff to make sure that I get those two extra turns. But with that said, you kind of get an idea of the situation on the campaign map. It's time to play the battles of Putnik. It's now going to take out the treacherous Greeks that stabbed us in the back. And we're going to get a valuable seaport and a valuable region in our uh, attempt to survive World War I. With that said, let's go ahead and take Athens. Even though the enemy only has a load of home guards, it could still be dangerous because they do our numbers quite a lot. If they were to be more aggressive and attack us, they could overrun us. Doesn't look like they're going to. And they kind of they've moved heavily over into our flank there thing is I've got a stone wall it's almost impregnable to uh, shoot anyone behind them however they could still shoot us through the side but I'm hoping these two will stop any advance of that the artillery bombardment have started and as long as the enemy just sits in position and allows me to blow them to pieces then I don't see why I wouldn't win with really minimal losses. That guy is probably not what we're going to target. We're going to target over here. Notice that targeting right in front of the unit actually kills more of them than telling the artillery to fire at them. Because as we all know, the artillery always kind of fire at the... Uh, the um, the flank of a unit. So we should be able to um, kill quite a lot more by targeting them like this. Now I do believe they did have a mortar somewhere. And they're because I saw that they have a mortar, that's why I've placed the explosive shot artillery in front. So that has the furthest range and hopefully 
that will then be able to blow those guys up as soon as possible. In previous battles, we had a bit of trouble destroying the mortars with the, uh, the shrapnel artillery. Keep firing. This I've seen. This is a rather odd thing. Let's see if anyone more, any more soldiers die here. I see long after the artillery shot has landed, people still kind of walk into the area where they shot hit and they die. What are they doing now? They're wheeling the entire army. Okay, now when they're on the move, we're gonna target them. I think they're wheeling just to make the line across here, so they're coming... Like, the line is gonna be straight across here with pointing towards, straight towards a line that they imagine here. At the edge. It's kind of a concentration of these smaller units over here. And I do reach them. So we're gonna target that, because that's the normal infantry. What's left probably after the battles with the French invasion force. The French are sending a second wave, but... Luckily, I'm going to be able to um, get the Greek um, nation to take over Athens long before they are able to get there. That was a pretty good shot directly on that small unit of 15 men. Killing almost everyone. I'm still thinking that I could probably push out some infantry, but the thing is, I'm gonna have to ex we're gonna have to expect that there's gonna be a Greek revolt right after this. And Putnik's army hasn't been able to replenish after quite a few battles at this point. The uh, normal line infantry here is getting destroyed. But at the same time, I kind of want to end the battle. We could probably push out. Looks like they're not going to attack. Let's make an attack towards the center. While these guys move through. Moving through town is probably a bad idea, but we are going to do it. They're walking straight up like that. So flank firing should work wonders, especially with the, um, especially with the, I'm going to target the enemy general as well. Although it's not really a general. Oh, they're moving into range. So we're going to start to uh, fight here with that home guard unit over the field. They're probably going to get the first shots in. Okay, they're shooting over here. Lost 10 men. Let's get some counter fire in there. Troops going through town. As quick as possible. I could, if I need to, actually fall back. Two more defensive position. As we can see, the uh, the Greek troops are moving forward to meet us in battle here. The enemy generals smart. He moved back. The enemy general smart. He moved back. Uh, he got wise. Is what I should say. We are going to pull back. Actually, we're not killing them much better than they are killing us here. I've actually lost quite a few. Most of uh, the kills here being uh, inflicted on the enemy is by artillery. Let's go ahead and micromanage a little bit better over here. Let's fire a little bit ahead of them. I should probably do better. And hit the bigger unit. Okay, we've got troops in town. And set up like that, and these two will try and push out, start flanking the enemy. I 
Right, they're moving towards the walls here. I'm gonna set them up behind the wall now. Where am I actually targeting this? Where am I using this right now? Target them. Blow them up. Are we getting... We're setting up a little bit of flank fire there, but not nearly enough. What I would want... We'll put the unit like that. This one get a little bit better. This one is probably the one I should actually... Uh, Aim the artillery at. Okay, the enemy is being broken over there. Let's aim for a bigger unit and aim for the concentration of troops over there. These guys have moved out. I knew they. I know they have a mortar, but where they've hidden it, I don't know. I do think the smaller units over here might need some aid. Ooh. Light, an actual rifles unit turned up. We're gonna need uh, support against that. I'm gonna target this area. Let's see how's it going over here. You might want to actually stay behind the fence. It does provide a little bit of cover. We've lost about 50 men there. That's not. That's not good. I tar I've put all the artillery pieces firing over here, but I'm not really getting the kind of destruction that I want. And just as I say that, we got a full hit right in the middle of that. Oh, they're, what are they doing here? Charging through the streets at us? Let's see, do I dare? Let's push through. This one kind of needs to get hit badly. He's asking for it. These troops will retreat. We lost about 20 men. Not entirely sure how many casualties we inflicted. Ooh, these guys got hit badly by the shrapnel shot. Plus the uh, fire of the troops there. Come on. Get that flank fire going. Probably need to pull back a little bit further. They are being beaten though. We're not really beating these guys as, as I thought. We're gonna move out. We're now gonna concentrate on this one. With four units. I'm gonna tell the artillery to fire there. We're gonna get one firing in the middle of there. And then, let's see, you managed to get those guys set up like that. And then both these units can fire over that. Can I see what the... Oh, no, I'm targeting these guys. I thought I could see what the Greeks were targeting, but... If it continues like this, we'll break them. But I fear, even with the few casualties we did get, that we might have gotten too many. I don't know what the replenishment rate will be in this region. Ooh, what a cluster. We'll target everything in that region. These guys are able to target... Oh, they're able to target these two units. That's not good. But if I get up to the wall, that could work. At the same time, as these will push up. Y 
you should which unit is being targeted. I'm not entirely sure. This one will move up. Get a better angle. Let's hurry up to the wall. I don't think they will charge us anyways. Where is that mortar? I haven't seen it. Huh. Maybe there wasn't a mortar. Maybe if I, maybe I was mistaken. We're right on the wall, firing up the flanks. They're not really doing anything. Concentrating artillery here, blowing everything up. Let's target the actual infantry unit. Oh, they are actually charging here. We've got a bit of a melee. Where they're actually attacking from both sides. I doubt they will uh, be able to dislodge us though. And there goes the light infantry. Let's quickly move through. You know what? Let's just sit behind the wall. Means do we get full firepower out of that. And then further advance. Surprised? Let's move on. Surprised they're still alive. Should be giving up right about now. We got bare. There's barely any Greek troops left. And we're concentrating from so many angles and so much artillery. Let's move. And there, there, those guys are gone. It's just a general hiding in the bloody corner. Hold your fire. We'll move these two. And then the um, the explosive or the light howitzer can cover the advance. Now I did lose quite a bit of men. Hopefully we'll be able to recover that for the uh, revolutionary troops. Oh, there's the mortar. He moved within range and then he moved out of range. That mortar is going to kill more of my men. A lot more. Before we get there. And especially... If my units... Are not strung out as long as possible. Bastard hit. They're not intending to come over here, so we should move everything. Maybe not general, should move all the way up. Shitty bastards, there's no way you can win, so. I don't know why you just don't surrender. Would save us. Or would save everyone. Save lives. And save time. I doubt I will be able to get the artillery into a position where I can fire before the battle is over. We're slowly shooting down the general here. It's not perfect angles. There's a low amount of infantry firing. There he goes. Cavalry unit is quickly melting away now when more and more Serbian troops are setting up to shoot him down. We got another one coming in to aid right behind here. There they're gone. Everyone will continue forward towards the mortars. The mortars do actually put up quite the resistance in melee, so need to be careful about that. 
Let's not risk the general here in the final moments of the battle. This unit is the one they've been targeting. I think they're trying to kill it. Vengeful last act of this mortar crew. To completely eradicate this one unit. Which they might very well succeed in because there's only six of them left. However, we are about to open fire back at these guys. Only one guy managed to survive out of this. They're gonna let him run though, but that unit is now gone. They're targeting these guys. I'm surprised you still stand after all that. Shame, so we lost one unit. There you go. There we have victory. That unit was lost. Oh, we lost half the force, in fact. Uh, 500 men were lost out of a force of about 1,200. Still, I mean, 700 men are still uh, alive, which is pretty good. Uh, artillery did the most, followed by one infantry unit there, they got 300 kills, pretty good for a unit of 147, lost 60 men, however one unit was lost all hands, um, which was, where are they, which one was the highest loss, there we go, only one man remaining, they killed 218 though, and with that, we now control the Greeks. Very nice. We can already start to recruit troops in preparation of the oncoming revolt. Given that reservists take one turn, I'll quickly be able to pump out six infantry to hold down this. Uh, Naval Academy. will um, burn this to the ground because I can't... Naval Academy is the one that I cannot recruit uh, ships out of, I believe. I'll, well, we'll just make a check, check to make sure, should I? Three turns though. No, we'll just burn it and build a new port. I think this is the one that's bugged. Um, I'll check that so I don't waste a load of money. We need to build railroads right away. Troops on the way. We've got factory, that's nice. We also got a new college. Sparta. That'll be put towards war technology, but I need small barracks or I need rifle scopes, is what I need. Yes. With that said, though, I think we'll end it here. Next time around, we'll end turn and we'll figure out if it's Ataturk or if the Austrians are gonna attack us. I hoping the, I'm hoping the Austrians pull back towards the capital rather than them um, trying to attack us there. They definitely need it because I don't want the Italians to get Vienna. I want Vienna. Anyways, with that said, we're gonna end it right here. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it and hopefully I'll see you guys for the next one. Bye.